It's, 15. It's Decker. It's Bicknell. It's Johnson. It's Brightville. And Decker looks smooth once again on the restart. Four lead, four. Spotters talking to Decker. Telling him how big the advantage is over Bicknell with 14 miles to go. And to answer a question that I posed, yes, Decker and Bicknell have checked out once again from Danny three Johnson. Lead, three. Five lead, five. Pulling away down the back stretch, but the leader is Decker comfortably. He's really working that right rear. If you feel comfortable and we got the gas like we're saying we do, let's just keep running. 15 to go. If we have the gas like we're saying we do. <laughs> I've got to think that Decker has used a lot more fuel than he would have wanted to, holding off the challenge of Bicknell. Pete slides that 1B. Now, that's not what you want to do here. Boy, this is exciting. Five lead, five. Two lead cars working their way through the corners here. To the front straightaway. You know, we had the scanner on, on Billy lead, Decker. Six. We had the scanner on Pete Bicknell. This the interaction, yeah. you know, to, to the driver uh, is exemplary with the Billy Decker crew. Well, they've been here before. You know, they've been in this situation. They won the race a year ago. They know what it takes. Six, lead, six. The, you have a team that's worked together a long time, it just it's such a big benefit. The big question, is this all a pipe dream? Going 110 laps on a tank of fuel. Remember yesterday, if you were with us for the Sunoco A plus 150. Run hard, Billy, run hard. Doing a good job. We had a green-white checkered finish, a late caution. The race went two extra laps, and Andy Bicchetti lost it with half a lap to go when he ran out of fuel. Hey, Rick, Bicknell doesn't have it for him right now. No, he definitely doesn't. He doesn't have enough race car left to challenge Decker. And Bicknell would love to be putting pressure on Decker, more pressure, because that would cause Decker to use more fuel. And we're still, we're still, you know, cautiously saying, look at Decker, look at Bicknell, but you better look back a few more car lengths and see Danny Johnson, who is truly in a catbird seat. 11 to go, 11. Five lead, five. We're coming up on 100 laps since his last pit stop for Billy Decker. Last year he went more than 100 to win. Yesterday, though, okay, it was a small it, block baby, race. The Slow only driver to go more than 110 down. was Bud Whistler. Bicknell okay. is in trouble. Bicknell's no coming in. They're no saying gas. Over Let's go down to Andy Fusco. Okay, I'm down here in the Bicknell pit. Indeed, it is gas. They get one can in. It's a gas and go, and he stalls the car. The 1B is stalled. Now the crew is pushing the car. Uh, Terrible turn of events for Pete Bicknell. Mark, down to your end. We're down here in the Decker pit. Scott, Pete Bicknell just ran it out of gas earlier. They said they didn't know how far they could go on fuel. Are you are you still confident? How do you feel with 110 moving to sir? Yeah, I think we can still make it. It's going to be close, but we'll just have to wait and see. Billy's going to try to save as much fuel as he can right now, and we'll just have to ride it out. That guy behind you is not known for being finesse. Are you worried about Danny Johnson? No, because I know he's trying to save fuel, too, so he's not going to push us any mu any too much. We'll just ride around, ride around, see if he catches us, and then we'll see what happens from there. Billy Decker trying to become the champion here at the Ecker 200, and also he'll get the nickname Mr. MPG. Eight, <laughs> eight laps to go. Bicknell went a lap down with that unscheduled green flag stop for a splash of gas. Okay, Danny Johnson, some laps ago, he held off held off Kenny Brightville. Yep. And, and that battle for position has put Danny Johnson in an excellent spot, running number two against Billy Decker, who has a sizable lead. Don't expect to see Danny Johnson on the back bumper of Billy Decker anytime soon today. Danny Johnson started 20th today. He's come to second. And the yellow was out. Is it raining? Let's see what the situation is. I see the safety car. Car stopped. On the back Schultz now. stopped on the back straightaway. Chris Schultz, who won the consolation earlier today in the Sterling Truck Shootout, the non qualifiers race to make the show for the Eckerd 200. My he goodness. Stopped on the racetrack. 
And we are going to have about a, what, a five lap shootout. Looks like it. 193 complete. They'll come around with score lap 194. This time by Decker comes over the stripe. So there are six to go. You cannot end this race under caution. We have a green white checkered rule in dirt motorsports. Might be a four lap shootout. Could be. This will allow Danny Johnson a shot at Decker. He will close up on the back deck lid of the 91 car for the restart. OK, let's find out what uh, Danny Johnson's pit crew has in mind. Down to Andy Fusco. I'm here with Jim Herbs. He's the crew chief of the 27J. What's the story? Oh, hopefully we got enough gas to make it to the end. It's going to be close. What about Billy Decker? How does he get mileage? And no one Danny Johnson is out of fuel. Oh, Danny boy, and another contact out there. Danny Johnson is out of fuel, and there's a massive pileup. Oh, my goodness gracious. The How many cars? blocked, about 10 cars up at turn three. And caution back on the speedway. Vic Coffey is involved. The 98 car is involved. Danny Johnson touched that off by running out of fuel. The 27J is stacked up over there. We see a host of other cars. Danny crawling out. He was running second. The 61 car. Dave Murdoch from Pennsylvania involved in that wreck. Looks like Butch Tittle's car is over there. Dave Axton. We could be in a, in a situation where we go extra laps now. Certainly could. I wouldn't be surprised to see a red flag thrown. Eddie Marshall is over there. That's the white 98 car. Eddie was running in the top five. Now there is a pathway through. Track officials have been able to clear a path for the cars to go through. But we most likely will have extra laps. Unbelievable turn of events. We'll get back to pit road in a moment here. But just as the green flag was coming back out, Danny Johnson ran out of fuel evidently, dropped to the bottom, and got plowed into by a couple of other race cars. And that touched off a huge skirmish over in turn three. When did Kenny Brightbill pit last? Was that about the same time? Lap 90, same with Danny Johnson, same with Billy Decker. So those cars at the head of the pack trying to go 110 miles, they may have to go a couple of more. This could end up in Kenny Tremont or Doug Hoffman's or Ron Smoker's lap before we're all done. And how about Steve Payne? Don't overlook Payne. He is sitting sixth right now, and Payne, I believe, stopped well after halfway. So he should not have a fuel issue. Well. Take anything you had in your hands and throw it up in the air. <laughs> and if you're Danny Johnson, we documented at the top of the broadcast. Let's take a look. Down, down low, there's three. Danny. Johnson's white car there, out of gas, slowing down. Here's how it starts. Whammo. The 28 car trying to get around Danny Johnson's car. Steve That's Poirier from Quebec. And there was another car outside of him. Coffee involved there in the 32. There you see Eddie Marshall. I believe it was Eddie Marshall that could not get around Poirier and went up over his wheel in the white 98 car out of Pound Ridge, New York. More contact coming. Look out. And a big stack up to the inside as well. That was the car of Dave Murdoch, the Western Pennsylvania standout of the 61, the red car there. So you've got eight or nine cars just turning turn three into a junkyard. Late in the going here in the Eckerd 200. Four laps to go, but remember, we cannot finish under caution. Eddie Johnson struggling to get out of rather Vic, Vic coffee. coffee. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. He is sore. They're going to red flag. They're going to red flag oh, the race. The fans don't like it a bit. The red flag waves, and the fans are booing here at the New York State Fairgrounds. 